Hi, how are you guys? I hope you're doing fine and you're taking care of yourself. A quick intro, I'm Anushka and I am a medical student in Ukraine, but right now I'm in India. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the apps, the websites and the YouTube channels that I have been using for quite some years that have helped me in understanding and learning medicine in the best way possible especially in times like this where we are stuck in online world and being a medical student has become so much more harder than it was already because we are missing out on so much stuff practical stuff especially so i thought why not share with you guys the apps that i have been using and the youtube channels that i watch and the website i use in order to make my study a little bit more interesting i also did a poll on instagram where i asked you guys like uh, what kind of videos would you like to watch with the vlogs and informative videos so the inclination towards informative video was quite a little bit more than the vlogs one so i thought let's make a informative video at least once a week so that i will have both kind of things in my youtube channel so in this video i am just going to be telling you briefly about all the apps the websites and the youtube channels that i have been using this video is not sponsored by anyone so whatever names i take in this video are all my personal preferences and what i have been using and what i have found helpful actually obviously you do not have to use everything that i am talking about you can just check out those things and find for yourself if those things actually help you and if not then you can totally use something which you are already using or which you would like to use so there are tons of resources on internet you can find them out and they will be quite similar mostly things i am going to be talking about in this video are free of cost like youtube channel on youtube you don't have to pay extra for anything but if you're going to go on to the website of those channels then you might have to pay for subscription for all the videos you might want to find but what i do is that i search a particular topic of the websites or the youtube channels i trust so i like type the name of something a disease or something and just put like osmosis or like khan academy or something like that i haven't subscribed to any of these things except prep platter which is the only thing which i have paid for all other resources i'm using are free and i do not pay for any of those i just use my internet data to download those things so obviously I do not claim that you will find everything you need uh, on any of these platforms but you will find a lot of stuff which definitely will help you in understanding things in a different way and medicine is like it's so vast and like when you will just combine the knowledge from all the different places then you will find that in order to treat something or in order to understand something there can be so many different ways and obviously it depends on you personally how you use these resources what i have understood over the years is that sometimes it becomes a little bit boring for me to like read just reference book and sometimes i do not understand what the text is trying to say so having these resources and having someone actually explain it to me or just like having what i have read in a visual format actually helps me more in understanding that and learning that in a better way so that is why i have been using these things and i hope they help you as well do give it a try and let me know if you have tried any of these and found helpful and also if you have another suggestions or some other websites app or some youtube channels which you actually prefer and you actually like what i think is that when i see something i understand it so much more better than just reading stuff out so first of all let's talk about the apps that i have first app that i'm using is prep ladder and it is a subscription based platform where you have like video lectures mcqs and grand tests mock tests and treasures and notes so you can use them in different ways in like understanding all the 19 subjects and it specifically targets fmge so yeah that is why i have this app if you don't want prep letter obviously you can use marrow and academy and there are so many more obviously i do not know all the apps but i have prep letter uh, next is clinical sense is a app which i personally like it is kind of a game and scenario based kind of a thing it is a free app and you are like you will have a lot of scenarios and you can just uh, download those scenarios this app is for someone who has actually done the clinical subjects a little bit because the scenarios play in a way that they are giving you a case history of the person and then you have to put the diagnosis and you have to give them medicine so i actually like this app i use it a lot of times when i'm feeling bored and when i just want to know how much i actually know 
and it will also give you further detailed explanation of all your answers and where you have been wrong and what could have been given and all those things i actually like it so you can try it out the third app which i have but i do not use is pre pg app uh, the thing with this is i find it a lot confusing so i don't use it much but a lot of people have suggested it to me that i should use this for mcqs i'm not doing mcqs i'm not doing a lot of mcqs right now so i don't use this app a lot it's like prep letter can be found also on youtube and also on website like on website you cannot watch the video lectures you can do only mcqs and if you want to like actually use prep letter then it is used best way on a phone or on a tablet so i've written these in a format i'm using them like i i, I use prep ladder pre pg and this clinical sense more as an app so i have written it this way and these i am using more on youtube so that's why i've written it here and these on the website so let's talk about the websites which i have found helpful and let's begin with the basic subjects like for anatomy i have found can help quite the most useful one and i have used kenhub when i was giving my anatomy finals and it did really wonders for me when i was giving the anatomy finals so they also have 3d diagrams and they also have histology section and cts and mri so you can go there and check it out it's an amazing website and i guess it's also there in app format so you can just check it out physiology dr nazib is definitely one of the best the lectures are going to be quite long but he is going to teach you from the very basics and going to take you to the very top so if you are just someone who is starting out in first year or second year then i would suggest that you should try listening to dr nazib obviously on higher speed like 1.5x or 2x speed you can watch the free lectures on youtube before you subscribe for it and the websites which i use are the medscape cdc center for disease control and there's drugs.com and mayo clinic so on all these websites like you can find a lot of diseases and i guess almost every disease you will need to understand in your medical school this drugs.com also has an app so you can download that and you can use that on your phone finally about the youtube channels i'm using youtube is definitely my favorite app on the phone so i use it most of the times i use it to watch vlogs i use it to get motivated and i also use it for study purpose so i have i haven't included the channels which i use like to get motivated or to watch vlogs of certain people of medical students mostly so if you want that i would tell you that as well maybe in some another video so let me know if you would like to know that here i've included the youtube channels which i am using strictly for the study purposes the first is from anatomy i watch dr shrikant verma he is absolutely amazing when he teaches anatomy you don't find it boring when he teaches it and also he makes it so much more easier to learn and to understand anatomy and his way of teaching is quite different than what i have seen in other teachers institute of human anatomy if you want to know some li like different things about human organs then you can definitely go and visit it out because they like talk about some unique things which you might not know about human anatomy and it's quite interesting actually you should check it out when you are free sometime just to know some interesting stuff other youtube channels i am going to be talking about are not subject specific you will find a array of videos over there on like all they include almost all the diseases that you will learn in medical school and how to differentiate between different diseases and all those things so you can just check it out and like know if they are actually helpful to you uh, i actually find khan academy quite helpful and they have like animated videos so it's quite interesting and i actually like it medicosis perfectionalis again similar they use animated format in and like making you understand different diseases so that's you should that is something you should give it a try as well next is osmosis which i have used in learning almost all of my internal medicine we had rheumatology gastroenterology nephrology and endocrinology so you can find the videos on all these and even if you will just take screenshots or make notes out of the osmosis videos they are literally going to help you remember things for so long next is lecturio medical i am not sure if i am pronouncing it right but it is l e c t u r i o medical so it is kind of like a 
it is kind of like prep ladder and you will find a lot of free videos on youtube you can learn a lot of different diseases i personally like the meningitis video the next is for pulmonology most of the times i watch the videos of ninja nerd lectures because he gives a detailed explanation of all the topics of pulmonology the differential diagnosis and also how to differentiate between different different things how to differentiate between bronchitis bronchiolitis or pneumonia or etc 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 so the videos are really very good and if you if you have a lot of time and if you really want to understand things from the very basics then you should definitely watch ninja nerd lectures the last one is i sometimes use is sketchy medical they have also again animated way of explaining you microbiology biochemistry and pharmacology and they also have inter they also have videos on internal medicine obstetrics and i guess surgery i'm not sure but yeah they are mostly targeting the usmle step 1 and step 2 i do not have a subscription for sketchy medical i just watch the free videos and they are very good actually and so yeah these are the most of the online resources that i have been using the apps the website the youtube channels obviously you can find all of these things most of these things actually on different platforms like on apps on website or on youtube so just search for them if you actually like a particular thing like i said medicine can be quite overwhelming and it can be quite difficult so i am really glad for all these platforms for actually providing their free services specifically because they have really helped me and i and i'm sure they help a lot of other people as well in understanding medicine in a better way and i hope if you are someone who's just starting out and if you are someone who do not know how to actually start and if you're actually feeling overwhelmed then you can use any of these platforms obviously i will say start from the free ones first so that you do not feel like you're spending a lot of money and not actually gaining something so obviously you'll have to give your time and your energy in understanding what is there so use these resources wisely and only subscribe for those things you can actually really take your time out to understand there is no use in subscribing in a lot of different things and spending your money and actually not being able to use those things so think twice before subscribing to anything because if you do not if you won't be able to give it time then it is not worth it again i will say that these are not the only resources which you can use you will find a ton of other resources but obviously it is that you will have to spend your time and you will have to figure out if it actually works for you so if you are someone who is just starting out then just explore whatever you can and figure out what works for you best also do not rely on just one resource for understanding a topic even if you combine all the knowledge there will be times when there are things which you do not know but what is more important is that you understand the concept you understand the basics and that way you will be able to build knowledge so just do not assume that by using one resource only you will be able to accumulate all the knowledge that you need for a particular subject or a sub topic and i don't say that use a lot of resources because it might also get confusing and time consuming to use these resources only if you have time or if you need to understand something in a better way well that is all for this video and i have tried to include all the resources i have used over the past years and i hope you also find them helpful in case you need them i will leave the links to the apps to the websites and to the youtube channels in the description box below so you can check it out if you have any queries or suggestions let me know in the comment section below or you can dm me on instagram or email me i would love to hear from you and i will try to reply to you as soon as possible thank you again for watching this video like share and subscribe to my channel for more videos take care of yourself stay safe and i will see you in my next video bye